You want add-ons on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Well, guess what? This video is going to show you exactly how to get add-ons on both PC and Android. If iOS is more your thing, subscribe to the channel because next week, one week from when this video goes up, we're doing a video on exactly how to get these on iOS. Overall, the process is the same, except after you download the mods and in between you getting in Minecraft, you can't really click on it, right? Sometimes with iOS, it downloads as a zip file. It does all sorts of weird stuff. We're gonna show you how to fix all those issues in a separate video. This one is dedicated for Minecraft Bedrock on PC and on Android devices. Nevertheless, the first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here, and this is where you can find the most popular, automatically sorted by most popular of all time, Minecraft Bedrock Edition add-ons. These add-ons encompass everything from furniture to Pokemon to more furniture, but also like city stuff, which is kind of cool, to even stuff like this, a sort of zombie aliens sort of mod, and a fantasy mod here. So much stuff, so much stuff to get here. But for this video, we're going to be focusing on furniture craft for two reasons. One, it's going to take you through all the issues you may have when installing one of these mods. It's going to throw ads at you. We're going to show you how to navigate those. It's going to throw all sorts of weird stuff at you, and we're going to show you how to fix that, how to find that stuff, how to figure it out, because we create in-depth tutorials here. It's what we do. Two, it's also the most popular mod out there for Minecraft Pocket Edition currently. So that's another reason. Might as well knock out two. It's a perfect example and it's the most popular mod, so it just makes sense. So once you're here, find the mod that you want and then click on it. In our case, that's gonna be Furniture Craft. Once you're here, we wanna go ahead and find the download. But to do that, you wanna scroll all the way down here, all the way down to the very, 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 very bottom where you will find a little heading called Downloads. It's at the very, very bottom of this page. And once you're here, this is gonna be for all mods on MCPEDL here. And once you're here, you wanna find Downloads. Right there it is. And click on that little link under it. For us, it's called Furnitcraft Add-on. For you, it may be something different depending on the mod you're downloading. Just make sure it's under the Download section here, but above Supported Minecraft versions. Once you're here, click on that, and it will take us off to where it's warning that we're going to a third-party site. Now, if your download starts right away, that is absolutely awesome and go that creator. However, if not, click on this little like link there to continue to what is most likely some sort of advertisement. That's what we have here. Now, once you're here, you want to select the CAPTCHA, go through the CAPTCHA if it's making you do that like we're doing right now. And once you have went through the CAPTCHA, we can go ahead and confirm we want to download this for free. To do that, click free access with ads, right? So go ahead and click free access with ads. And then you wanna click on this, discover interesting articles. Once this pops up, don't click anything else except the X in the top right. It's gonna take a few seconds and now you can click it. Finally, click continue to download right here. When you do that, it's gonna take us off to this page. Now again, this may be different depending on what mod you're downloading, but for Furnacraft, there are two versions. You have the 3D blocks and the entity version. Right now, 3D blocks isn't working with the newest version of Minecraft. That's subject to change in the future, but right now that's the case. So we want to download the entity version by clicking download. Quickly refreshes the page here, and as you notice, it now says resources and behavior. Every mod, or 99% of mods in Minecraft Bedrock Edition are made up of two files, the resource file and the behavior file. So that's what we're looking at here. So you want to download both of these, right click and open in a new tab to make sure you're opening both of them. Both of them will unfortunately open up again in Link for Ties right like so, where we want to click free access with ads and I'm glad it gave me this. Sometimes you'll have two of these. If that's the case, click on Discover Interesting Articles just like you would have before and kind of spam the X until it's done. Be careful though, because you don't want to click anything else on this page except what we're clicking. Nonetheless, we we'll also want to click Discover Related Topics. You can click on anything here. We'll do online stock images. Doesn't matter what you click. Just kind of wait for a few seconds and then click the X again. Now we can finally continue to Furnacraft and download it. On Mediafire here, where we can click the blue download button. We need to repeat that one more time, one more time on Link for Ties here with the behavior pack, where we click free access with ads again, interesting articles, click the X and click it again after about four seconds here. There we go. And discover related topics, doesn't matter what it is, and click the X. Finally, continue to Furnicraft and the download can be done here. Well, that's downloading. How about SMR sponsor, Apex Minecraft host, and go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start a Minecraft Bedrock Edition server quickly and easily. It can be public, it can be private, it can have mods on it, it can have anything you want, all while having 24 hours, seven day a week support at Apex if you need help. Again, that's the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, first link down below to get your server up and running. Let's go ahead and minimize our browser here. 
where we want to drag these to our desktop. Now, in theory, you can click them directly from your browser in most cases. So if you are on Android, just do that. Just click them from your browser's download page and they should work. But if they don't work, like for example, if I click this, I know it's going to work. But if that doesn't work and you're on PC, what you want to do is find them in your downloads folder. That can be found by clicking the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. Here it is. And here are the files. Now, I don't know exactly which one we uh, we got there. That was the texture, right? And you can identify these because it says uh, resources and behaviors, resources being textures. So now we want to go ahead, we'll drag that to the desktop and double click on behaviors and boom, it's going to go ahead and start importing it. By the way, that's the hard part. Once you see that successfully imported both the behavior and the resources, right? We just did the resources and behavior was done just there as well you are done. Like that's the hard part of getting this installed. From this point, you're in Minecraft and now we can add these to Minecraft. To do that, go ahead and click on play here and then decide if you're going to add these to an existing world or create a new world. Most add-ons want you to create a new world, but it's not required per se. So let's go ahead and add them to this world just to show you what I mean. By the way, Furnicraft does kind of require a new world, so it's not going to allow everything in game. But if we click on this little edit button here, we can come over here to the left hand side and we can see resource packs and behavior packs. So let's go ahead and click on resource packs. And then if we go under my packs, where we can go ahead and click on that and then click activate. Then it's under activated, looking good. And then we can go over here on the left hand side, click on behavior packs, click on my packs, and then there it is, Furnicraft behavior. Click on that and click activate. It's going to say it's going to turn off achievements. That's perfectly fine. Click continue. Now, last but not least, we want to go in here and scroll down to where it says experiments. We want to turn all of these on. However, it is worth noting that when you do this, it's going to want to create a copy of your world. So as you can see, activate experiments. It's going to copy your world no matter what. And now we have this new experiments world. Click on this again. I recommend checking to make sure that your packs are active. As you can see, ours are not. So we want to go ahead and make sure we do reactivate both of those. They should be under the active section in order to work. And then we want to come back in here and make sure all of these experiments are turned on. It's not necessarily going to break the game if they're not all turned on, but sometimes mods do require them, so it's just safe to turn them all on, right like so. Finally, check one more time, make sure Furnicraft is under your active or whatever add-on you're installing, and click play. Now it's going to go ahead and load up the game with those installed. Now again, we're using the existing world, and Furnicraft kind of recommends a new world, and so... Some stuff just will not work here, and that's just part of the course when you're using add-ons on an existing world. But some stuff will work. So once we're here, we can go ahead and go into creative, and if we search for furniture, we'll see kind of what's in game, right? So here are some of the stuff, for example, a grand piano is in game, and we can add it. Things like a laptop, as well as a sink. It seems like most stuff has actually worked here. We can also add in things like a stove, and we can place these down in game, right like so. Boom, there is a sink as well as a, you know, like laptop, right? Like so, boom. We can place down the laptop. There we go, <laughs> it wasn't working. And we can go ahead and place down the stove as well as the grand piano. Now, I believe these things can be kind of moved around a bit more and stuff like that. And yes, these are entities and that's why they're kind of in this weird thing. The 3D blocks is what we would actually recommend, but it's currently not working in 1.18. So you might wanna give that a shot. If it does say update, that means you need this version, the entity version, in order to make the uh, placing a bit better. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. That is how you can get add-ons and it's just repeatable on all of those. You can also add them to new worlds and it is a bit different. So let me show you that really fast. To do that, click create new and then we wanna go ahead and create new world. Then on the left hand side, we wanna come down under experiments and guess what? Turn all of these on, right like so. So turn all of these on. And then once all of the experiments are enabled, we can then come under behavior packs and click on available. And then boom, there it is, front of craft behavior, activate that. You can also repeat that with the resource pack here, click on available and then click on owned. And there it is, there is the resource pack. Click on activate and you're good to create your world. Now you will have all of that furniture in a new world as well. And any add-ons that you want will be in that new world as well if you've added them just like we did for Furnicraft. However, I'm not in creative, so one second. There we go, we are now in creative. We can go in here and search for furniture and there is all the furniture. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps us out and it means a ton to me. We have so many more Minecraft Bedrock videos on the way on servers and add Add-ons and specific add-ons and things like that. Here you will always be able to find the trusted links for any Minecraft Bedrock Edition add-on. Also, be sure to subscribe for that iOS tutorial coming later in the week. Nevertheless, thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.